Hey everybody, welcome back to Mildly Infuriating, brought to you by our sponsor, the like button. Make sure you click it, or tap it. I need to be more inclusive of mobile devices, which actually most of you are watching on. So tap that like button. Let's start off with number 19. This woman letting her dog eat the food that was given to the stray. I was on the fifth floor and couldn't say any forking thing. The real mildly infuriating thing about this is not that she's letting the dog eat the food that was left for the stray, just that she's letting her dog eat random food that's just sitting on the sidewalk. Is that your reaction when your dog starts eating random things? Like, oh, cool. Guess that's your meal, I won't need to feed you later. It's fine, I forgot to buy dog food anyway. I'm not a great dog owner. Not, hey, stop eating that. I don't know what that is. Probably let's back off for a second. What? Why are you just letting, okay, anyway. I mean, the person who posted this could have just yelled out the window like a crazy person. Not that it would have made a difference, but you could have said something. Theoretically, it just might not have worked. Videos like this, preying on the gullible. Oh God, it's like four minutes long. I have to dedicate an entire video just for this video. We'll move on to pay for the plus feature. Carpenter calculator. Do you want to upgrade to the pro version to unlock the plus button? <laughs> when I read the title of this, I figure that, you know, it's like having something plus, like it's a YouTube premium, YouTube plus, and you have to pay for that. And it's like, okay, that kind of makes sense. Nope. You're just not allowed to add things together unless you pay to unlock the plus button. Cool. It's not like most phones come with, you know, a calculator app installed. How would people, why, what, what is, does this thing do your homework for you if you buy the plus button? Like what, this, what does this possibly have over the built-in calculator on your phone? Why would somebody pay for the plus button? Please tell me. This thing, it must massage your feet or something while you're doing your homework. That's the only justification. Ah yes, the Stranger Things spinoff. I think it's a bit of a, a printing error, probably. I wonder if it actually says Netflix on there, if it's not even a crappy off-brand, like this is actually a Netflix officially licensed product and the factory making it, they just had a little boo-boo where, where they didn't know which side, which thing would go on because you know, they probably got confused. Is it supposed to be readable for the person wearing it or the people looking at the person wearing it? And it's this one's probably right. That one, I don't I don't think so. What is this even supposed to say? Live am your who I am truth. Live your truth am who I am. Oh, wait, I Live your truth, I am who I am, are. <sighs> I mean, you gotta be consistent, right? Like, if the goal is just to read everything in the vertical line, where does the R come in? That, this is just, this is a mismatch down here. There's just an R at the end. I am who I am, are. I am who I are. Who do you think you are? I am. Athlete on the verge of the country's first gold medal disqualified for a kick too hard. Actually, wait, people have had like their videos and stuff taken down for Olympic clips. Nope, not chancing it, not chancing it at all. Although I did watch that like back when it happened and I was like really curious about the whole thing. And I read up on it and apparently there is a like with karate tournaments, you're not actually supposed to make hard contact. Like part of it is being able to hit, but also kind of pull the punch or the kick. So you're not, so it was like, I guess within the rules, but also, you know, if you don't, you watch boxing and MMA, you're like, why can't they kick here? So anyway, but can't, I don't want to get copy strike, thanks. But I will be wet when I load groceries in rain. What? 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 What is it? They, huh? They, they backed into the store? Has this ever been seen before when someone didn't like accidentally crash into the store? They purposely backed into it so they could load the groceries in the car? All right, honey, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go get the car and just wait, wait here. I'm gonna go grab the car, back it into the store. We'll load it up, we'll load it up. I don't know why no one else has thought to ever do this before. <laughs> Idiots out there getting wet in the rain. Like just it's obviously what the store is for. It's a loading dock for cars. I don't know why nobody realized this. <laughs> Idiots. What? what, they can't get out with their shopping carts right now while we're parked in here? They just gotta wait their turn. 
Been in the ER waiting room since 5 p.m. It's 5 a.m. now with no signs of being seen anytime soon. I came in with abdominal pain. I'm scared of some sort of hernia or appendicitis. This is forking ridiculous. Nothing but respect and compassion for medical personnel. I, I have abdominal pain too. I still don't know if I have a parasite or not. So I'm with you on that ab pain. Not fun. I might have to see a doctor. At least it's not bad enough that I have to go to the ER. Hopefully your thing was sorted out. I, I have this like terrible feeling that especially right now with the crown surging, like unless you walk into the ER with like an ax just sticking straight out of your forehead, they'll be like, all right, go sit over there and we'll get to you at some point. And yep. I'm not even sure if you walked in with an ax sticking into your forehead, if they'd see you immediately. They might just be like, is it really that inconvenient or can you just take a seat over there for a few minutes? No title needed. Hey, US government, can you fix the roads you taxed me to build so I won't frick up my car you taxed me annually to drive that I paid for with the income you also taxed that I park in my home that's highly taxed. Thanks, every US citizen. <laughs> it's so relatable. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there be uh, some potholes every, every now and again. Hey man, it's just, you know, any transaction where any, any sort of thing changes hands, it's just, you know, they got to take their piece out of it, all right? It's just, you learn to, you learn to live with it. I, I do recall when I first, you know, started living on my own and having an income and being like, oh, wow, basically half this goes to the government. If you're not on W-2, if you're just an independent contractor and you don't take withholdings. And, uh, and now it's just like, yeah, I guess that'd be the way it is. It's nice. That's that's great. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. That's I like it. I like it a lot on that one. This is what the knives at my girlfriend's house look like. This is a crime. How does a knife even get to look like that? Like, how many wires did you cut? <laughs> You're like, ah, I, I don't really own any wire cutters, um, but we need to do a little bit of electrical work. So let's just grab one of the kitchen knives and just get saw through some copper wires. I'm sure it'll still work perfectly well for food. We'll just clean it off nicely in worst case just your your body needs copper in it right little flecks of copper and iron obviously it's a little iron from the from the knife that's you know just little flecks getting in your food as you cut mm -mm -mm. brand new ferrari sf90 with half a million usd falls from delivery truck in sao paulo brazil oh this is way more than mildly infuriating what how have i not seen this oh no Oh no, oh. Does the truck, does the thing collapse or the guy just back off too far? Oh, I hate this so much. Also, it's it's way more than 500K. They're like 650 fully loaded. Oh, okay, as long, it's the truck's gonna fail, isn't it? Oh God. The truck failed. Oh God, dude, that's my worst nightmare. Every car that is currently in my garage, I have watched or been in the car loading it or unloading it onto a like one of the two story massive car transport semi trucks. And I'm always thinking about this every time that I have done that every time. And it's good to know that that's actually a possible thing that can happen. I will say on the plus side, though, the trucks that uh, I've had the cars come on and off of, they have extra reinforcement. Um, up here, like, it doesn't seem like this truck is actually made for car transport. There need to be additional cables to support the rear end of the platform. This looks like it's totally for loading, not cars. Uh, oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's so bad. That pains me. Ah, uh, and that person probably had been waiting like two years for that car. It was a long, long process from unveiling placing orders until they came in. That's, that sucks. When washing your car and a guy parks behind you, instantly gets out and impatiently crosses his arms. <laughs> yeah, I know you just got here, but I'm gonna need you to hurry up, okay? I got an appointment to be at, and uh, my car has more surface area, so it's gonna take a while to do, so I'm gonna need you to just hurry up, okay? You think you can do that? Cool, thanks, appreciate it. I'm just gonna tap my foot on the ground for added effect. I work at a college dorm. This week is freshman move-in where I'm working a 12 hour shift. I was told not to pack a lunch because a free one is provided. This is my free meal. Hey man, intermittent fasting, okay? You know, you're gonna burn some additional calories, not even eat too many calories, and then you can just pig out on the meal at the end of the whole shift and you don't have to feel bad for overeating. 
That's the big brain play, and they save money. <laughs> what a meal! That's definitely enough water for a full day right there. Mm-hmm. I guess you can refill it at the water fountain. Yeah, a delicious, no-protein meal. Heck yes! This free chips package on an Air Serbia flight. Is it gonna be all air, basically? Are there gonna be any chips in it, or is it just gonna be a bag of air? I mean, we all know chips are basically bags of air as is, but this is gonna be, like, the extreme variant of it. Is there one chip? <laughs> I mean, at this rate, you might as well just individually wrap the chips. But why not? Right? It just... Like, that's way more plastic than it probably actually would have taken to individually wrap the three chips in there. So, you could have been, you could have gone more eco-friendly. And, potentially more sanitary, because every chip is prevented from flecks of the other chips. Mildly infuriating, the restaurant would need to put a sign up because of TikToks. Kindly refrain from placing your phone on a conveyor belt to make a TikTok. This is invasive to the privacy of their other diners who do not wish to be recorded, and at the end of the belt cycle, your phone will be lowered with empty plates into our commercial grade dishwasher, where it will be fully submerged in water detergent, sanitizing agents, rinse additives, and within a 90 second cycle, pressurized and heated to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. We're not responsible for damaged phones. Well, now someone's gonna go in and close their phone inside of like a super duper resilient watertight case and be like, has anyone ever wondered what it looks like to be inside of a dishwasher? We'll look no further. And they're gonna abuse this. I've been to a conveyor belt sushi places and not seen that, but now I feel like I probably will see that because I don't think TikTok was quite as big since it's been like a couple years since I've been to one. And, hmm, I wonder if I'd ever see one. If I went back to the conveyor belt place. This egg. <sighs> was the thing just filled with water? Wait, it looked, it looked perfectly fine, and then it just, what? How does that even, how did you know? Like, why were they filming this? Did they think it was gonna be like a nice, satisfying egg break, and then it just dumped water on the meal? It kinda, you think it's gonna be a nice yolk, and it's just, oh, okay, well. That's not gone well. Amazon started placing their lockers in my city. That's how our park sidewalks look now. Wait, why are there Amazon lockers just in a park? That seems like kind of a weird place. Like, wouldn't you want to put it at a, I don't know, post office adjacent or something? Maybe Amazon rents P.O. box space inside a post office or, I don't know, just not like in a park. That's such a weird place. And on the, just obstructing the sidewalk. Was this, was it supposed to be this way? Was this a mistake? Was the installer just like, oh, I guess I'll put it here. It's probably not supposed to be here, but you know, this seems like the easiest place to access. What? I don't, why, why, why here? What, that's, it's just doesn't make any sense. Why play? There's so many other places. This could be in, in like a, a strip mall or something like that, or like anywhere other than the middle of a park. It's just a dry heat. For those of you who say, oh my gosh, at least Vegas has dry heat. I got branded by a gosh dang penny that was chilling on my front seat. I have an Abraham Lincoln scar on my leg. I'm done with summer. Yeah, and I've I thought about moving to Vegas and and that's like, that's the downside. It gets a little toasty in the summer, but on the plus side, if you're someone who never leaves their house like me, then you don't have to worry as much unless you go for a drive and forget about the penny that's sitting on your leg and you get branded by it. That would be unfortunate. But also, how would you not feel that until it's too late? I feel like if I was getting branded, even if it's as small as a penny, I'd be like, ow, my leg hurts. Um, I should probably get, or I guess maybe they, maybe it was just like they sat down instantly, big pain and then got out. But yeah, that too. I don't know what the timeline is here. But yeah, a little toasty. What if your power goes out? Then you're in trouble. Oh, God. 120 degree heat once. Never again, please. Nope, that was earlier this summer. Oh, God, it's rough. And the top for the last month, eating in public as a celebrity. Uh, it's so... It's so weird. It's funny, I've actually... I, I was at a sushi restaurant like a few years back and Justin Bieber was like sitting a few seats away at the counter. No one was actually... No one came up to him. No one said anything. Um, and it was it was really... It, so he was on a phone call and I could... I, like I was just by myself. 
and I overheard a few words, which were like, he had just gotten back from a trip and he said he made a few bucks. And I'm, I was just sat there like thinking to myself, what does a few bucks mean to you? Like, a few bucks to just, that, that, that like, this is like eight figures. How much, how much is that actually? And then I also felt bad because it was like, am I eavesdropping? But also it's just like, I would hear the words said by anyone else if they were talking on their cell phone a few seats away. But yeah, I was just like, that's, huh, yeah. Whatever a few bucks is. Anyway, that stuck with me for all these years, wondering what Justin Bieber considers a few bucks. But at least this didn't happen. That'd be so, like, you can't, you can't have a conversation about anything important in a public setting if you're, and I'm sure he's like purpose, purposefully obfuscating what he's saying on the phone. Like he can't say exactly how much he made because that would be, that would be weird. Someone would overhear like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Anyway. Um, yeah, that would just be just not, not fun. That'd be uncomfortable. But anyway, that's, that's it for the last month of mildly infuriating. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like, subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the bell, check the playlist if you want to catch more mildly infuriating, and uh, or you can just click the end screen wherever it is on the screen. All right, that's it. See you later.